what can you do to make sure a salary sacrifice scheme runs smoothly from an HR point of view? It's making sure that you've really laid out what your objectives are for implementing the scheme. There shouldn't be any challenges for HR if the scheme is set up properly. If I was working in HR, one thing I would worry about is getting a car through the scheme, then something crops up that they didn't expect and they're coming to me. How can you make sure you avoid that? Initial communication direct to employees from your provider is key. And we would actually discourage HR from getting involved in any questions direct from the employee. We'd want those inquiries to go direct to the provider so that they can make sure they're managed in the correct way. Is that the case with all salary sacrifice providers? No, it's not. I think some people just provide the link for quotations. Any inquiries and, and challenges are escalated through HR or through payroll, and that's not what you really want from a provider. So if you're choosing a salary sacrifice provider, a key area of focus is how much they're going to support you as an HR team and how they're educating your employees. Yes, it's not just an initial education because you'll have churn of staff, so you'll have people that are joining the business. So how does your provider directly connect with those new employees who are eligible and educate them on the program? So it's not just your employees that are there at the point of launch, it's your ongoing people that maybe move into the eligibility based on the threshold or they're starting and they've passed the probationary period.